I woke up late today. Well, it's not late. I get off work at 6 a.m. and I usually sleep until 12 in the afternoon, but I woke up at 12, 2.30. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing my best to get a good sesh, go skate this spot that I've been thinking about all last night and get a trick. So that's what I'm doing. In 2015, I got a job working as a security guard and in 2019 that was my fourth year being a security guard i wasn't sure how long i was going to be a security guard but i kept skating within that schedule uh when i first started it started as four days 11 hour shifts and i was constantly tired because it was the graveyard shift and the main thing i didn't really like about this job was i was constantly tired I didn't I wasn't able to spend time with my son as much as I'd want to because I would sleep from the time I got off until like midday and it kind of sucked because all I really wanted to do was skate make videos with friends and just live life I would feel really guilty choosing to go skate and then having to go to work because I was I wasn't spending enough time with my son literally that ate at me so bad and I did spend time with him, but I felt like I constantly wasn't doing enough with this schedule. And it, it was really hard on me. It's crazy when you have someone that looks up to you and wants to spend time with you. It's probably one of the biggest factors of my motivation. I didn't have my dad in my life. And knowing that I have my own kid and I'm in his life, one of the biggest things I wanted to do was being able to tell him that you can do whatever it is you believe in. April of 2017, I met NKA. He finally responded to one of my DMs on Instagram, which is kind of crazy because like, I, I've been watching NKA ever since I could remember. And it was a big deal to me and my friends. I remember we were super excited on the drive there because my brother's like, why don't you, why don't you try to message NKA? I, I told him, I'm not sure if he'll respond. He might be busy. He did. We were all excited. Through that, our relationship grew and it was cool because like I started editing his videos for YouTube. So that was, that, I felt like that kind of brought our friendship closer. And soon after, NKA stopped posting on YouTube for a while. I haven't heard from him in a long time. And it was October. I literally was taking classes, working, school, skating, YouTube, being dad, too much on my plate. At the time, I didn't really realize that. I was just doing my best to stay busy. And I remember 360 flip from Feeble. I landed it. And I remember before I landed it, I told myself right here, I gotta do it. I was thinking about like all these affirmations, manifestations, how I wanted things to happen for me in life. And it's funny that within that time that I was thinking of all that, I landed it and I was on this super energy rush and I felt on top of the world because it was a crazy trick to me. I went home, that was Sunday. The next day was, the next day was Monday. I had a, a class and I dropped that class. I got a text message from Nigel which was the craziest thing. He said, bro, I was looking for a skateboarder. I, was, I immediately responded, yes, I'm down. He's like, whoa, 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 you're, you're not even hired yet. And it took until two weeks later to go to Brell, which was crazy to me because it was an opportunity. This is a year's time now. I know this guy. Crazy. Crazy. All I gotta say is I'm very thankful. That is impossible. Impossible. Right? What is he doing? <laughs> Alright everyone. So me and Aaron played skate back in Encinitas Skate Parks, aka Poots. I beat him. Ever since then, he's beat me four times and I can't take this anymore. And everybody's it's beating me today, so we're gonna we're gonna play so he can win. No, he's playing so he can feel better. I'm playing so I can- No, I'm not. I just want to skate. Hey, least. if you don't post this video, you owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> At least. You owe me 100. I'll post it. I'll post it. I'll post it. Both games. I'll, they're both going to be one video. <laughs>
The I'm only reason back. he lost is because he just skated the three block for literally three hours straight. No. Back 180, finger flip. Finger flip. Within this time that I've been at Burrell, I've kind of been figuring out that everyone does have a story. Everyone's story is different. Whether your story is similar like mine and you're going through work, have a kid, or just things aren't looking so well for you, I really just want to tell you that you can do it. You just have to believe. You have to make sure that you're focused on what you want to do. I mean, it's not even over for me. There's still so much more goals I have in my life. I mean, there's, I, I want to travel the world. I want to see and skate crazy places. It, the list just keeps going. Uh, I really, really just want to tell whoever is watching this, listening, that just please, if you got something in your mind, you should start working towards that because it's probably one of the best feelings whenever you make it happen. Honestly, I had a gut feeling that if I didn't stop, something was going to happen, whether it was get sponsored by a big board company or just blow up on YouTube, whether this, this is probably even better than both because I work for such a cool YouTube channel and they're the best at having a good time. I literally have so much laughs, whether I fall, whether it's learning a new trick, the people that work there are so cool. And I just would like to thank Aaron Cairo and Nigel Alexander. Like, literally, those guys changed my life. And I'm so, so thankful for everything and everyone that has helped me to get to this point.